sorry, I was at my max time, so it cut me out. Um, let's start again. So if you and your child are in the meet and something goes wrong or you can't figure so something is frozen, all, you can hang up, which is the hang up button right here. You can hang up and then it says rejoin and you can rejoin, mute and join yourself uh, back in. So if you are on your Chromebook, you can do the same steps and um, you can skip the, the logging in on the Google page because that will already happen once you're logged in. But I also wanted to note that on your phone, if you have an iPad or a, a cell phone, you can add the classroom app. So that's this app right here. Bring it back a bit. And when you click on it, you'll have to use your child's username and password to get in. But you can go in, you can go to music, um, classroom, and you can click that video up there, but just by logging into this app, when you go to a Google Meet, it recognizes you have a Google application on your phone that's signed in, and it'll use that sign in for it. But if they wanted to go into the classroom to access, um, they can just click this camera and it will let them join the, um, the Google Meet as well. So as you can see, I click the camera and then I would just click join and then I would join here on my phone. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to get into a Google Meet and um, to get into the student's classroom. And you may uh, want to go in sometimes there's, you know, if you will click right here on classwork up here, Classwork is mainly where things are posted, like here on the music page is just some music websites. Um, they could have some reading sites in their classroom or, or math sites, but you may want to go in and just explore and, and see um, if, if there is anything, there may be some sites in your, for your child at home. And other than that, I think that that's it. So I hope this helps if you get into, if we get into a situation that nobody wants online learning or um, if even just to get into your child's Google Classroom um, or their Google Apps. And I'm sure if you do not have the username and password to kind of play around with these apps, you can contact your child's teacher and they will pass along the password, uh, username and password for you. Hope that helps.